All right, welcome everybody to Rankin Bank. This is gonna be the first video I drop in the group. Uh, thank you for the 30 members here um, that we have. Let me just pull this up uh, so far. And uh, yeah, thank you for everyone filling out this poll. Um, this has been really interesting. I definitely want to cater to the people obviously in the group, taking action, taking part in this community uh, that we're building here, right? So um, there hasn't been a ton of votes in here, but the majority um, still wins here. And um, four of you are saying that you're brand new to Rank and Rent and you need to learn it all. Of course, um, I do have my program and my training modules, but I wanna get you to a point uh, where you can invest in that entire course. I'm going to be dropping a lot of gold nuggets here in the group. Obviously, I'm not going to be giving away the farm. I'm not going to be giving away the Gucci, uh, you know, kind of gangster stuff that we do in the full program. Um, but hopefully, I can provide um, a lot of value uh, to you guys here in the group. And Josie, I see you voted here. You're already in the group. So, you know, you're already learning the good stuff. Um, and then this is, let's see, three of you guys voted for uh, finding winning niches and markets. And then three more of you guys voted for client acquisition and sales. Um, so yeah, we're kind of across the board, across all these different um, parts of the system. And that's actually what I want to go over today uh, is the organic lead gen system. So for those of you that are brand new, uh, this might be completely new to you. Maybe you have, you know, parts of this stuff uh, put together. You kind of have your uh, head wrapped around this stuff a little bit, but this is it broken down, right? And I found that, I mean, you probably agree with me that if you can break things down into their small little parts, their little components, um, you can even break that system apart and rearrange those components to make it better, uh, to make it different, um, to suit your needs and your business. So um, from a learning perspective, I found that it's super important to break things down into their smallest uh, components. Uh, then you can truly understand the system and how you can utilize it uh, for making money, right? We're all here to make money and I hope to make a lot of uh, millionaires in this group. So first things first is the website, okay? So you need a website and uh, these websites don't have to be huge. You know, they could be anywhere from one page. You know, if you just have a landing page, you can run some Google ads to that uh, lander and get some leads immediately, turn around, sell those leads to a business owner. So that's kind of like the um, go fast and look good approach is where you actually set up the ads um, first and then you get the client immediately so you don't have to wait six to 12 months to uh, rank the website. Um, but for all intents and purposes, uh, these websites are probably you know one to 20 pages at max. 20 pages is really if you're going after plumbing. Um, you know, it, it can get kind of crazy depending on the market. And uh, here's actually a website that I designed for a client and we did a ton, a ton of uh, content creation, okay? So what you have to keep in mind is that the size of these websites is really determined by how many services you have uh, and how many areas you wanna go after, right? Um, so if we come over here to Google Maps, you're gonna be coming to Google Maps a lot, right? Um, so San Fernando Valley is where this website is located, right? And you can see there's a whole lot of cities in here. Let me just zoom in. So there's Northridge, um, you know, Van Nuys, uh, you know, Silmar, Granada Hills, Sun Valley, North Hollywood. There's all of these um, locations within uh, technically the same area, but they're all suburbs, right? So what you have to keep in mind is that Google Google ranks pages, okay? Google ranks pages, not websites. Google won't just lift up your entire website. 
they will rank individual pages. And how it works is it's usually um, the service keyword plus a city, right? Obviously, if I go to Google and I just type in plumber, it's gonna know where I'm located and it's gonna show me stuff uh, in my city, okay? I don't have to type in plumber city name uh, to get those results. Google is smart enough and they're tracking us enough, <laughs> right, to, to know that, you know, where we're located. Um, but when you create your URLs, you wanna put the city name in there, right? So as you can see here, um, so under the city, under drain cleaning, we have the city name and then drain cleaning, right? Um, another way to do this is actually put drain cleaning first and then dash city, as that's typically how people uh, search for things. And then we have you know a little bit of unique content on the page. And if we go over to Grun on the Hills, it's gonna be different content, right? Like there's a lot more content on this one um, than the other page. So that's kind of like an overview of the website. Basically, uh, you want to create service pages tied to a city. If it's just like five services and one city, you're gonna have like five pages, right? Or maybe you're gonna have the homepage, about us, contact, that's it. So these, pa these websites are very, very small. Uh, if you're going after the low hanging fruit, which is what I usually talk about uh, in the course, in the full course. Um, of course, the second part of the system is the phone number. You're gonna be buying a phone number. Uh, that's this phone number right up here. It's a call tracking phone number, so you can forward those calls to your cell phone uh, first before you find a client. And then eventually when you find a client, you just forward those calls directly over to their main line, all right? Uh, content, super important um, that this is unique. Uh, Google has all of these uh, machine learning algorithms to basically pick up on duplicate content or uh, stolen content, plagiarized content. So you want all of your content to be uh, completely unique to your website. So what I do is I hire writers to go ahead and write content. They do all the research um, and they basically write content uh, for the user. Um, so that's really important. You don't really want to write for the search engine because Google can actually pick up on that as well. And what I mean by that is you want to uh, answer the questions of your searcher, okay? So if you think about it, uh, Google is a relevancy engine. Um, so I'm just gonna put here relevant content. So if someone has a question about, you know, pipe bursting, for example, um, they're gonna be looking for content like this, time and money will be saved, right? They wanna know how they can save time and money. That's very useful uh, to the searcher. And you can actually go after long tail keywords, um, you know, kind of going after a solution to their problem. You don't wanna keyword stuff it just for the search engines. That was you know, so 10 years ago, right? <laughs> People used to stuff keywords and put the text in white and put a negative padding and shove it off the page, you know, just so it would show up to uh, Google as having relevant content or keywords on the page, although you couldn't see it or um, it wasn't in, you know, Q&A format, right? So content is super important. Um, you can start with uh, kind of copying content from other sites, but then just tell your writer, or even you can do it. In the beginning, I just wrote all my content. Um, you can just make it unique, right? Change the city names, uh, use some synonyms, you know, all that good stuff, okay? So that's content, covered phone number. Uh, next is the form. So the form, you know, pretty simple, uh, self-explanatory. Just come over here to this example again. Um, this is the form. By the way, this website, I was just showing you this because of the content, um, but this is not an example of a lead gen site. I'll show you an example. <laughs> this is like a very, you know, well-designed client site that I believed I charge uh, f a little over four grand for, and then I 
think I charged another two for the content. So this site is about $6,000 that I got uh, for making this for the client's business. Um, but let's just go to an actual lead gen site so you can see what I'm talking about here. So this is more along the lines of what you guys will be building, right? And actually provide this template. Uh, it's an Elementor WordPress template uh, in the course. Um, so people can just one click download and then upload to their hosting environment. Uh, but basically it's just, you know, clickable phone number, super important. Call to action is, is usually a complimentary color. It pops out at you. Uh, the form is important where you're just asking what people need help with. You get their name, address, phone number, email, that sort of stuff. Um, and that's it, right? You just gather their information and then you pass it along to a local business owner. Okay. So this is kind of the template that lead generators have been going with, uh, for a long time. It's just a lot of clickable phone numbers. As you can see here, there's a phone number every few par paragraphs I'm putting the phone number because on the mobile device, you don't want them to have to scroll. And I actually, I believe on this theme, I have this phone number on a mobile device go down to the bottom and it's sticky. Um, so it's right next to people's thumbs so they don't have to go and find it. They can just tap it, you know, wherever they are on the website. So that's the form, very simple. Uh, the GMB, it stands for Google My Business. Now they actually rebranded to uh, Google business profile. So it's GBP, um, you know, whatever, <laughs> uh, the GMB. So, uh, let's just see, let's do like, um, you know, let's just type in tree service Seattle. So the GMB is this right here. It is getting your lead gen site into the maps. This is extremely uh, important to the entire process and it's something that um, basically needs to happen if you want to generate any significant amount of leads because fun fact, you know, even though there's a lot of ads up here, only about one to 2% of the clicks go to the ads, right? Uh, more than 50% of the clicks go to the maps and then the rest go to the top three in the organic and then it just completely falls off from there. So even if you're on the first page and your ranks maybe number four, that's typically when people are price shopping or they're getting multiple quotes and they're literally just going down the line. Um, you know, compare that to if you're ranked number one in Google Maps, you're gonna be getting so many more leads and so many more calls uh, from that um, than being you know, ranked down here, uh, even organically. So it's super important um, to get in the maps. And it actually, the organic rankings down here, they actually influence your map rankings too. So there's a direct correlation between where you're ranked organically and where you're in the maps. Um, I cover this in depth in the program, but basically, uh, backlinks really help the content on the website and then getting, uh, reviews, a lot of relevant reviews with really good content in the review helps you rank, uh, in the maps here. Okay. So that's the GMB. Uh, the second to last one is the SEO or search engine optimization. This is where you're going to be doing all your citations, which point to the GMB all of your backlinks, which point to the website, your technical SEO, which is your on page uh, on your website, doing the title tags and meta descriptions, which are right here. These, this is the title tag. This is the meta description. Um, these are uh, site links right here, um, which I believe you can do uh, via the schema code on your website. Um, so all these things, uh, just part of the website SEO, um, and the backlinks, obviously that's the off page SEO where you point backlinks with certain anchor text like tree service Seattle to your website. So it's basically giving you a vote in the eyes of Google saying, Hey, this website's important. Another website is linking to mine. So rank me higher in the search results. Okay. And then the last one isn't uh 100% required but uh once you scale up uh it basically is required 
it's a lead manager and uh, I use lead snap um, by the way if you guys want to know any of the tools that I use you can come to leadgencoaching.io and there's a tools page right here and these are all of my recommended tools that I have used over the years so lead snap is right here hundred bucks a month once you are um, you're cooking you're rocking and rolling you're making a few grand a month this is this is nothing right um, and it's super super important uh, to be, basically manage your lead flow um, you know going to your clients you know you want to route the phone calls and the form submissions to your clients automatically so you don't have to be like texting them or emailing them or whatever um, and they also have some cool stuff in here like uh, a heat map uh, heat map tool right here uh, where you can basically see how you rank uh, in the maps and you can actually use this as a sales tool which is really cool um, so yeah that's basically it that's parts of the system so um, basically like if you guys are just starting from scratch right uh, a lot of you guys are already in lead gen you already know all this stuff but if you're starting from scratch this is a really good overview uh, that breaks things down um, in, in a simple way right this is literally all you need uh, to essentially become a millionaire and I'm not even joking like I know people doing over 80 grand a month um, and that's a million bucks a year um, I know a lot of people doing over 80 grand a month um, I'm on my way I'm not there yet <laughs> but soon um, and this is what they use right they use a website they use a phone number they get some content they have a form uh, they get a GMB they do the SEO and they manage the leads right um, another way you can think about it is uh, or another piece you can add to this is Google Ads right I talked about that in the beginning of this video running ads first uh, to a landing page getting the client um, and that's actually my choice um, kind of strategy for client acquisition at this point uh, because you don't have to wait right for the SEO to complete so uh, drop your questions down below I'll get those answered and um, what I really want to do with this course is really just get you guys to a point uh, where you know I'm not gonna lie I'm, I want you guys in my course right I want you guys in my program um, because I will make money but it will also help you guys make money um, and in return you guys will just be awesome testimonials to continue that cycle right um, because once I get your testimonial that this stuff works I learned it from Jordan um, I learned everything I needed and I'm making you know X dollars per month um, that is just a really good uh, social proof for everyone else who's thinking about joining the pro program so it's a little bit selfish right um, but I do want you guys to uh, really succeed with this stuff so um, I will continue to put out videos like this to go over uh, parts of my program essentially we'll be talking about some mindset stuff um, but let me be clear that this lead gen course right here I mean this is just my notes for recording uh, recording these videos right um, I just covered so this is the parts of the system that I covered um, in the course I recorded this last year right um, I've already done this I think I go more in depth in this video um, but all of these modules you know like the SEO is probably the largest module here um, I go into really you know advanced things and this is the Gucci stuff this is the stuff I'm not gonna give away willy-nilly um, so I'm gonna have to come up with some topics for you guys here uh, that still provides a ton of value I really want this group to um, I want it to grow but only people that are serious right if you're not serious about building a lead gen empire a rank and bank empire then get out just leave the group you know I don't need people uh, I don't need numbers I don't need a lot of like dead weight so to speak I want people who are like freaking ready to go uh, and ready to to make some money okay um, so with that <laughs> I hope this was uh, was valuable to you guys um, and yeah so I hope it was valuable and just drop your questions down below I'll probably do some live calls as well get 
some of you on Zoom and then we can kind of chit chat back and forth, um, kind of, you know, talk shop about the industry. Obviously, uh, you should be a lead generator making, you know, at least 5K a month for us to really have, you know, significant conversations in that capacity because you already get it, right? I don't want to be talking back and forth with some noobs <laughs> on this, but uh, I think that would really help people. You know, if, if I interviewed people that are actually doing the thing, then uh, it, it's just immense value for you. So with that, um, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>